Hello and welcome. And today we're going to be looking at the word of project, because this is a word that gives us so much opportunity to become more self-aware. My name's Anna Louise Haig, and I am delighted to be here with you. I run the Soul Whisperer Sisterhood Facebook group, and I'm also the creator of the Way of Your Soul nine-month authentic awakening journey. My world is all about helping you know and grow yourself through a soul self-connection, which is solid, enriching, and powerful. So we're looking at the word project today, and this can have two different connotations. You know, we've all got our project list, our list of things to do, but also we all can pro offer projection into our world, which means we are looking for something that perhaps isn't there. But first, let's look at your to-do list, that list of things that you always feel you need to be getting on with, which is a great motivator. It can make your world look more beautiful. It can give you the opportunity to increase and up-level the value of your home, perhaps. It can make you feel satisfied by achieving something, which is all brilliant. However, for many people, a project list or a to-do list is all about never feeling that you've done enough, never feeling that you are completed or that you are whole and complete in yourself. It's always about something better is coming your way, something more than you have right now, which means are you actually appreciating what you've achieved so far or what you have already? This can all relate to your world around you, your home, your garden, your career, whatever it might be. And so when we have a project list, we are looking outside ourselves to make ourselves feel more whole and complete, to feel better about ourselves, to give ourselves the opportunity to feel satisfied and meaningful and purposeful. And that's brilliant until the point where we are constantly constantly questing, never feeling satisfied, never feeling whole and complete, never sitting back and appreciating what we've done, what we've achieved, how we've created the world around us into what we believe we wanted because our to-do list took us in that direction. So if you've got a project list that is continually growing and never being fulfilled, then Keep on going, but look inside yourself and ask yourself from a spiritual perspective, are you always questing to make yourself feel good about yourself through trying to fix your outside world? Is that what's happening? And are you achieving it? Are you giving yourself the opportunity to really be grateful for all that you have around you, but also appreciate who you are on the inside. It's okay to be perfectly imperfect. It's okay to want to expand and improve your world outside yourself, but make sure it's in alignment and as a reflection of how you are expanding and improving yourself within through self-awareness, self-care, self-love. Give that some thought. But on the other side of the coin, we have projection. And projection is all about preempting a situation. It's about expectancy. And this is so much what is so easy to do. However, when we fully look at what projection is, it's about preempting an encounter with somebody else or some other experience that comes to us and already having a decision made about it already having a judgment made about the person or the people involved, so that no matter how they show up, they are always going to appear that particular way in your mind. And that may not be true. It also may mean that you never see the other side of this person or the situation. So to be in that projection mode means that you are failing to see the other side of what is possible. The reality is that often you are projecting onto others what is in need of attention in yourself. And that way, when you realize what you're doing, when you realize that your projections are around the same kind of thing, no matter who catches your projection, then this is a real awareness wake up call to look inside yourself and work on that need. The way to start doing that, you can use the same aspect of, of being with others or whatever it is that sparks your initial thoughts. You can use that same approach, but flip it on its head. 
And how you do that is by staying in a neutral place when you're anticipating meeting that person or that experience that is normally sparking you. Put yourself into a neutral place and be it, just be willing to observe and not comment, not rise your feelings, just observe and be asking yourself, am I like that? Or have I been like that? And that hook is still within me. The other way to do it is to take a step further. And instead of being neutral, instead park your judgments and your expectations on one side and flip it and look for the good. Look for the positive, the kindness, the caring, the compassion in whatever the object of your projection has been, whether it's a person or some kind of organization, whatever it might be. And until you are in the groove of continually finding the good, then you're not going to be able to find the good in yourself. So what we project outside ourselves is always a representation of what we feel about ourselves inside, whether it's your to-do list that never gets fulfilled, never feels satisfied, or whether you're projecting onto other people the issues that are so deeply buried within your subconscious that they have become the glasses you view the world through. Now, this isn't to say that you have major problems and all the rest of it that need resolving, not at all. It's probably just a little bit of self-awareness polish up that needs to happen. To do that, grab your journal, go and sit somewhere quiet for 10, 15 minutes and give yourself the opportunity to be bold, to be brave, to have the courage to sit back and look at where you project, what it's all about. Ask yourself, is that me? When have I been like that? Don't stop there. Look at how can I change my behavior, my beliefs, my mindset, because everything is open to change when you give yourself permission. So think about what can change and then make that change. And if, if, it, if it really comes down to it, do or think or believe the exact opposite to what you originally were hanging on to. Let that energy become infused within you. Because one of the realities is what you expect to happen or what you project to happen will happen because not only is that all you will be able to perceive, the other people involved will actually feel that energy as well and they will show up in that energy. So why not break that pattern? Even if it's something minor, why not break that pattern and give yourself permission to see the world with a kinder, more compassionate, heart-centered view. See others in the same way, because we've all got our stuff. We're all perfectly imperfect. So why not give yourself the opportunity to make that change for yourself and for all? And your life will start to feel so much easier. There'll be so much inner peace, which starts to grow within you. And isn't that what we want? We want to feel more whole and complete, more in harmony with ourselves, more peaceful and enjoying life. Let this be a stepping stone. Let it be a tiny pebble in the stepping stones, the big stepping stones of your life. It's the ones that fill in the cracks that keep all the other stones in place. See how you go with that. I'd love to see your comments and make sure you click subscribe because there's lots more to come. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you for watching.